Well, getting things started here, Ethan and Sandstorm versus Starlight Three, two, Tiffany, one, of course, ball. getting underway. We got the crazy oh, the clash, clash out from right the start. At the beginning. Just went right at each other with that dash jump neutral air, just punching each other and then fading away. Sandstorm finally picks up his own spawn weapon. Everybody's got a weapon in their hands, and Ethan has yet to take really any major hits of damage, doing a really good job moving around this blue team, Starlight. Looking for that cannon start, looking for a lot of these side airs. Starlight trying to make his way across the map, looking for those grounded initiations. Ethan stuffing him out though, doing a very good job at holding on to his movement. Simply getting the counter in there on the opposite side of the stage. And Starlight now having to get back. Sandstorm is just doing such a great job at controlling the battlefield. Ethan comes in and shuts down Tiffany with a downlight side air. Tiffany getting really knocked around. Starlight utilizing that cannon movement. The side air sends him flying so far, but Ethan's going to send him flying farther with that side signature. Sends his teammate to go greet him, but Sandstorm's going to pick up that recovery onto Tiffany. Tiffany got no utility. That's a double for Sandstorm. He had to delay the kill on Tiffany so that it was in time for the double on to the uh, onto Starlight. Starlight on the bottom oh. of the right. Falls to his death. Didn't have the movement inside of it, and that is going to spell trouble for the blue team. Always Great pickup. Unfortunate. Sandstorm looking for more with the scythe. Sends Starlight back to the stage. Says, hey, I saw what happened earlier. You need to stay on stage. <laughs> Tiffany about to side air Starlight back on stage. We'll see. But Sandstorm just throwing the snow all oh, over. Dunk. Getting the dunks. Oh. Tiffany coming in for the assistance. Can Sandstorm get back? Just yes. barely. Gauntlet's another one of those weapons with that horizontal movement inside of the side air. I like the attempt from Sandstorm to go for the recovery. That one's still not enough to finish off Tiffany. Meanwhile, Starlight in the bottom left finally takes off the oh. first stock of Ethan while Tiffany goes down to her last left side. Sandstorm, who is dominating, is looking for more onto Starlight. Recovery oh will do it. my gosh. Sandstorm and Ethan are tearing up the field right now. If it wasn't for that one stock, that Ethan would have lost right now. They're looking at a full six stock potential here in a 2v2 situation, which Ooh. almost never happens. Sandstorm and Ethan just collapsing on top of Tiffany. Oh, the ground pound coming out very quickly. Oh, Tiffany shut on the down. counter. Ethan still ready to 1v1 against Tiffany until Sandstorm can make it back. Still, that is one stock left to Tiffany against the four stocks of the red team. This is a mountain for Tiffany to get through. Gets a nice down air, getting some good damage without taking any punish. She needs to basically Ooh. keep doing that, but now she's starting to get hit. If she gets caught by the red team, she is gonna die. That neutral signature connects onto Tiffany, and that was a big win for the red team. I still can't kind of get over the, the setup potential right there. It was so ready to be caught by that down light. You can see it right here. It was so yeah, that close. Was so close. They had that in mind. That was one of the big reasons why they have the scythe in this 2v2 is that he can pass the opponent closer to the teammate to set up for things like that. It was just a little bit off the mark. Tiffany was able to get her dodge out in time, but still, that is the kind of heads up stuff that is coming out from this team of Ethan and... Uh, Sandstorm. Meanwhile, Tiffany and Starlight mixing it up, going with the double Hattori now. Well, we saw them start the, uh, the their first match that we watched with. Okay. They did this double Hattori on Twilight, Three, two, and what ended up happening one, was what they were continuously throwing out these neutral stakes on the center of the stage, getting stage control, and then just <laughs> throwing out constant KO potential attacks all over the place. An interesting decision indeed, but we'll see if they decide to go for that same strat. Meanwhile, right side, Tiffany trying to challenge Sandstorm, maybe just shoving Sandstorm away so that she can try to help out Starlight in the 2v1 center stage on Ethan. 2v1s on each side, blue team and red team just beating each other down. Bottom of the map, Sandstorm almost gets taken out by the down air from Starlight. Now that you see Sandstorm approaching the red health, we're gonna see a lot of these six start coming out because Ethan's getting up there as well. Nice There's the read. double sideline into the recovery. That's gonna be big. Ethan picking up on the combo starter as well. That's gonna only lead Tiffany into the KO, unfortunately, for the red team. But Starlight and Tiffany looking for these KOs very shortly. 
lot of players close to that kill spot. Tiffany and Ethan have the targets on their backs. Ethan on the left side goes for the ground pound. Sandstorm connects onto Tiffany. Second one will finish off Tiffany's stock, keep the stock count even, but Ethan is so much more damaged than Starlight. I like the setup attempt though. He's gonna hit the Neutralite to set up into Sandstorm's down signature. Likely would have gone for the alternate hit to pull him off the stage. Ethan's trying to get into the mix right now. He gets KO'd in the process, and Sandstorm backs off for just a moment to give his teammate a little room here. Getting back onto the stage, it looks like both the blue team members stacking up on top of each other, waiting for that next approach. Sandstorm really looking for that combo started with that neutral light in the middle of the map. Ethan picks up the side stick to keep the stock count even. Ethan and Sandstorm are just a little bit more damaged, though. Sandstorm's got to be careful, and he's unarmed right now, dodging around the blue team. Really good movement from Sandstorm, but he gets caught on the landing. The side stick connects, and here comes the black hole. Ethan just rolling past Timmy. Timmy just a little bit off the mark with her hit, and here comes more black holes, this time onto Starlight. More and more, we see Starlight and Tiffany go for a lot of that ground control. These neutral lights, side lights, just trying to force Ethan and Sandstorm out of the center, trying to control this map in the platform zones on the outside. That gives them so much room to work with, but Sandstorm finding the chaos on the top. Ethan now looking to pressure Starlight as well. This is just making it even tougher for him. And Starlight really trying to hold on to the stock, but Sandstorm is on his final stock here. He's got to be careful, but they, he can't just sit back. The blue team immediately just focusing down. Ethan, Ethan gets taken out. Both red team members on their final stocks here in game two. Sandstorm off stage might be looking for a gimp opportunity. Blue team not going to give him the opportunity as they immediately turn on to Ethan. That is exactly what they want. They love to go for those power play opportunities. Neutral Light sets up to the side light. Just getting extra damage, extending their stock so much. Dashing around in the center, Sandstorm just waiting for the right opportunity to get something going, but trying to stay careful. No, gets caught by the recovery. Now it's all up to Ethan looking for that weapon, and they are up. They can afford a loss right here, but you know they're going for the win. Ethan going to try to get that 2v1. Okay, Tiffany with the dash in, with the recovery. Starlight with the side air, the collapse. Both players going for that side air. Ethan, no. Ooh, he had a slight opportunity to get a double down air. That would have been hot right there if he could have found it, but still back on the stage. Would have been a nice opportunity, but either way, he's doing a good job of dancing around these blue team members, not really taking any damage. You see how much damage is built up on the Starlight for that neutral light to send him flying so far, but the side air is the finisher. Ethan goes down. We're going to a game three. The adjustment coming out from Starlight and Scythe's Tiffany with the double Hattori. I was kind of surprised at the lack of neutral sigs that we saw, and it sounds weird. <laughs> it sounds weird. Normally, you don't hear that players use a lot of neutral sigs or just throw out sigs in general, unless you're, you know, Isidru. Mm -hmm. Then, but what they did in their first game, that was how they found a lot of their KOs, and uh, they didn't really opt for that so much, even though it was extremely successful for them. Well, it looks like they didn't need it because they had a lot of success with their uh, strat this game, just going for the follow-ups, going for those clean kills. They took down Sandstorm very quickly, so they'll likely be trying to do something similar here. Just go for Sandstorm, take him out of the game, and just go for the 2v1 onto Ethan. And he is the target Three, to be searching two, for right one, now because Sandstorm, oh. when you let him go, he just controls that battlefield. And here we go. This is game three. Do or die. This is the final part of this best of three between these two teams. Sandstorm able to pick up his spawn weapon. Everybody's got a weapon in hand. And the combo's coming out. Starlight taking quite a bit of damage. This is going to have to start slowing this down, extending this stock. But Ethan slowly rotating over to help out Tiffany with staying in position just in case Starlight committed too hard on coming back up. Sandstorm trying to control the center stage as Starlight and Tiffany trying to make their way back. The sword play trying to launch Sandstorm over towards Tiffany. Starlight just trying to stay a little bit safer as well. Doesn't want to take too much damage. He's taken a lot already. Everybody is taking a little bit of damage at the very least. Ethan not quite in that kill spot just yet. Sig starting to come out. Harpoon toss from Ethan in the middle of the map. Looking for the setup onto Starlight, but he throws out a side sig a little premature, and the blue team punishes. There's the neutral signature from Ethan to take down Starlight. The recovery from Sandstorm 
almost takes down Tiffany and Sandstorm goes for the combo onto his teammate. Ground Pound connects. Tiffany keeps the stocks even, goes for a second one. Almost got Ethan. Ethan's got to be careful. He's moving around. Staying on that right side while Tiffany actually went for the disengage into the shenanigans. A lot of damage going out from Tiffany right now. Really good swapping from back to Sandstorm to Ethan. The Sandstorm to Ethan doing such a good job at, job at target switching. And just bouncing opponents away. But ultimately, the Ooh. counts even. Sandstorm gets one down six. Starlight on his way back up gets the kill onto Ethan with that recovery. Sandstorm actually dodged into the ground pound, but Tiffany let go. Starlight top of the map, but it's going to be Tiffany who gets killed by the side. Sig left side. Sandstorm challenging with the ground pound. Just a little bit of a fake out. Starlight shoves him away with that neutral air. Starlight and Tiffany trying to collapse on top of Ethan. They're trying to get the damage up so that I, I can see a double kill in the works going on because they already have Sandstorm in the red. Very potentially, they could go for Sandstorm, but it's not really looking like they're hard focusing him. Instead, they're still just playing this 2v1. Ethan getting the better of Starlight. Slight advantage to the red team and Tiffany. Full disengagement goes underneath the map to try to wait out Starlight's respawn. Ethan gets the combo starter onto his teammate Sandstorm, but Starlight not able to follow up. There's the setup. Downlight into recovery. Stocks evened up. The collapse onto Ethan now, trying to get as much damage as possible. Sandstorm back in the mix, though. He's got the gauntlets. Potentially looking for that down stick. He loves using it when it's going to end up off stage. Sandstorm looking for that dodge up read. Went for the Nair follow-up. Ended up not finding it as Tiffany uh, changed up her movement out of that sidelight. Ethan is in the red. He is very damaged. Tiffany also holding it down for the blue team. They are so incredibly even between these two teams. Ethan at the top of the map. Is the blue team going to go for it? No, instead they're just building this damage up on the Sandstorm. They want the 1v2 onto Ethan. They are not worried about the fact that Ethan has two stocks to the three of the blue team. Downlight Sarah connects. Ooh, good Sandstorm reversal. Sandstorm with the reversal, like you said, ground pound in the middle of the map. Sandstorm still looking for that down sig off stage. Onto Starlight. Starlight trying to get a little bit of damage onto Ethan. That's going to be the KO. Tiffany looking for the KO onto Sandstorm. That is the last stock for Sandstorm. He's got to be careful. Starlight as well. Tiffany and Ethan facing off. Starlight backing off. Trying to just stay safe for the time being. Go for maybe some support plays. A little bit of a back end attacks that are more safe than in their face. And there it is, Tiffany with the downlight recovery. Sandstorm not able to get behind Ethan and play that support role. Instead, he has left Ethan down to this 1v2. Nice weapon toss into a pickup neutralite. Another weapon toss coming out from Ethan. Sans or Starlight is the more damaged blue team member, but even then, he's not quite as damaged as Ethan and not quite in that kill spot. Ethan, good movement, gets around. Dare, ground pound, Tiffany oh. with the punish. Ethan. Gets the wall touch, but he eats the weapon toss. Tiffany oh, no. doesn't even need the hit. Ethan falls to his death, and Starlight and Tiffany continue on.